What's up guys, Joe Meglio here, megliopeformance.com. This is the first official video blog that I am doing. I am starting a new thing on my website. Whatever questions you guys send in, you could submit them. You check the tab up to the left and you could send any question you have in regards to training, program design, uh, training baseball players, whatever questions you have, I'm gonna answer them in a video post, all right? So here's the first question we got. Let me check this out. Uh, this question is from Mark. Mark says, my question is about an in-season training for baseball players. Um, in an article that I wrote for Elite FTS, you stated that two full body workouts per week are sufficient. That's for playing or practicing five to seven days a week. Mark plays two times a week on Saturday and Sunday. And his question is, how many times a week should he be working out? All right, so let me address that first part. It really depends on where you're at, you know, how physically prepared you are. Some guys, if you're playing Saturday and Sunday, it's probably recreational, like a men's league or something like that. Um, you're not a college or high school athlete. And if you're not practicing during the week, you have more energy. You could train three to four days a week, but it really depends on where you're at with your training. You know, if you're not physically prepared to train three, four days a week and play two days on the weekend, then I wouldn't recommend that. So it's no black and white answer, Mark. Sorry about that. But um, you have to test things out. That's the only way you're gonna learn, okay? So uh, start two days a week. Once that feels good, you can add in the third day, probably a day or two before you train, um, or even Sunday night after your game if you have enough energy. So you gotta test with it, all right? Play around with it. I would say, you know, like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you could try that. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, something like that. Just test it out, see uh, you know what works with you. If you can't do three days a week, you can cut down to twice a week. Ideally, when it comes to in-season training, you know, for college or high school guy, or even professional, when you're playing five, six, seven days a week, you should still should be doing something every day in terms of strength and conditioning. But you're in season, so you should be doing a lot more prehab, uh, rehab stuff. You're gonna cut the volume down. You're not gonna lift with high intensity on you know your big lifts so you know there are some in-season training considerations that you need to take into account but um you know i prefer increased frequency you know a lot of guys they don't train at all in season so i'm not going to tell someone to train five six days a week when they don't even train at all so i think two days is a good start ideally i would like to take those two day workouts and spread it over the course of like four or five days so you're doing real short workouts but increased frequency i've seen a tremendous results in season so let's check out the second part of mark's questions mark says second you state that dynamic and speed work are almost avoided due to the high volume of gains and practices once again what about myself who plays twice a week all right so let me give you a quick background on what mark's talking about on an article i wrote for elite fts i wrote that you know i don't do a lot of speed work or dynamic work with my guys in season because you know playing baseball is dynamic it is your speed work you know there's nothing more dynamic than sprinting to first base to beat out a ground ball or you know stealing a bag so that is essentially your speed work so someone like mark who's on playing twice a week you could add in you know some condition light conditioning on off days but i'm not even a huge fan of that because you know playing baseball is your conditioning if you're just playing a recreational though you just got to see what fits with your schedule mark so hopefully that gives you a little background on that mark also has a third part of his question Mark asks, when describing the contents of the full body workouts, you state they should include recovery work, prehab uh, for the rotator cuff. Uh, could you provide some examples on recovery work and prehab exercises? All right, so in a nutshell, uh, everything starts with uh, soft tissue work with the foam roller. If you can, I would recommend getting to a chiropractor or someone who can do ART in season. That will help speed up recovery. Um, that I think you know, soft tissue work is a must in season. As far as the prehab stuff, uh, you don't have to do so much external rotation for your rotator cuff and stuff like that, but you do need to address the lower, the mid traps, the upper back. The best things for that are band pull aparts, face pulls with a band or a cable column, um, things like that where you're really uh, strengthening the decelerating muscles. Uh, you don't want to go too crazy with that in season though, because you know, your arm there's a crazy amount of stress your arm is already working a lot. So you don't want to strain the rotator cuff any more than it has to, but exercises like band pull-aparts, face pulls, uh, prone Ys, Is, Ts, that type of stuff, strengthening the lower and mid traps, not so much the rotator cuff will be good for uh, in-season prehab stuff. 
Uh, you don't only have to pay attention to your shoulder, but also your hips, your ankles, pretty much the whole body. You want to address that through mobility drills, uh, static stretches after you uh, pitch or you know you play your game, because that's when your body tightens up. Before, you want to make sure that you're doing a lot of you know a dynamic warm up, as people like to say. Um, so, Static stretches are okay before you know a game. Don't go crazy with them. Um, but whatever you're comfortable, whatever you feel like prepares you best for your game. Uh, one thing with in-season training, don't do a lot of conditioning because you know if you're practicing, you're playing games almost every day. Why do you need to do more conditioning? That is your conditioning. You should be prepared for that before the season starts. You don't need to train for that while the season is going on. Okay. So the main modifications for in-season, if you're playing five, six, seven days a week. You want to cut the volume, cut the intensity a little bit, focus more on prehab, rehab type stuff. Um, don't want to introduce any new exercises. You want to do exercises that you know you've been doing that your body's familiar with. I like a lot of eccentric, less stuff in season: dumbbell farmer walks, sled drags, uh, prowler pushes. Not running. You're not doing it for condition. You're just pushing it. It's eccentric, less. There's you know it's not going to make you sore, but it's going to get a lot of blood in your legs good for recovery all right so you got to remember when it comes to in-season training the main goal is um you know maintaining what you can for baseball that's very tough because you're playing every day you're gonna get beat up that's why you have to pay special attention to recovery um not only soft tissue work mobility and prehab but also your nutrition that's going to play a key factor in how well you recover how you're sleeping at night so that's also important for recovery, all right? So Mark, hopefully this answered your question. It's like many things in you know the training world, there's no black and white answer. My recommendation for you is to test things out, see what works, see how it makes you feel, see your performance, all right? So you gotta test drive and see what works for you because not everyone's the same. If someone has a higher work capacity than you, they may be able to handle three, four workouts a week while they're playing two games a week, all right? So it really depends on where you're at in your training and you know what you've been doing. All right, thanks guys. This is the first video blog post. Keep sending in your questions. There's a tab up uh, right above that you guys can submit the questions on and I promise that I will answer every email that I get, every question I get, all right? So Joe Megs here, thanks for checking out the video. Talk to you soon guys, peace.